morning, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Getting my cardio on. As you see, got my hoodie on my head. Walking around here, getting some cardio in. But anyway, I want to talk to y'all guys today about guarding your mindset, paying attention to what you think, how you think. It's very important. I see a lot of people that walks around think they don't have any control over anything. You know, you are the author of your book. You're the director of your movie. You're the captain of your ship. Everything that you want in life is at your hand, at your fingertips. But you got to believe it. You got to feed it. And the way you feed your mind is like the thing that you believe in. You got to read it every day. You got to see other people's examples. You know, see how other people have done it. Because guess what? If everything you want to accomplish has already been done. And all you have to do is find that person or that coach that have done that already. You know. You have control over your life. You have the power of your life. You know, I just put a quote on my page about you have more enemies on the inside than the outside. There's no such thing as enemies. I don't care what you say, how you say it. Oh, yes, this this person is this yeah whatever if you think about it it's what you're thinking here about enemies <clears throat> you create your enemies in here you create your you create your enemies in here you're the creator you create that people respond to you you gotta understand that I'm not here to preach but just to get to let you guys know to get the understanding everything happens on the inside first then the outside in order for it to happen on the outside it got to happen on the inside first you got to get that and if you study yourself you'll understand this you'll get this you'll know this and this goes for every person it doesn't matter who it is when I say you have control, once you have self-discipline, which is that's one of the keys, self-discipline, you know, you got to have some discipline about yourself. If I can do it, you do it. And guess what? It's a continuation of working on yourself every day. It's not just one day, two days. Yes, it's a challenge. Believe me. I'm not already, I'm not already like all the way there yet, but guess what? I'm still working on that. You know, there are certain areas I have accomplished, but guess what? I still continue to work on those areas and other areas as well. You never stop working on yourself. So, you got to keep moving. You got to keep studying. You got to keep understanding you. Because every day, you may meet somebody, you know, that don't have the same views as you. Doesn't think like you. Which is fine, but again, you have to guard your mindset. You are the captain of your ship. You have to change your life. If you want change in your life, you got to do it. Doesn't matter about the president. Doesn't matter about your mama, daddy, sister, and brother. It don't matter about your kids until you make your mind up to change your life. That's the only time it's going to change. You know, I heard one, um, heard the social day had said they were, they just weren't happy. You know, things not going the way it, it should be and stuff like that. And I asked them the question. I said, you're not happy. I said, okay. I said, first of all, you got, you got a place to stay? You got some food in the house? Your kids happy? I mean, your kids okay? They healthy? And I just start naming stuff, naming left and right, naming, 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 naming. That's the thing about that. You got a lot to be happy about. Don't focus on what you don't have. Focus on what you do have. Be grateful for what you already have because that's the key in order to create more happiness. If you're grateful for where you are now, you know, that's, that's where it starts. When you're grateful for what you have now, that's how more continues. 
You don't have the money to pay your bill right now. You don't have the car right now. You don't have a spouse, girlfriend right now. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Be grateful for where you're at right there. Make yourself better where you are. And then you'll see that stuff, all those things and those people come into your life because you're grateful. You don't want to get, you don't want to be ungrateful because at the same time you will, will attract that into your life, the ungratefulness. And believe me, if you think like that, that's exactly what you're going to attract. So you got to be mindful of your mindset. Your mind is very powerful. Don't let nobody tell you that. Why do you think you have so many commercials on TV, so many advertising, a thousand? Why do you think they pay billions of dollars to advertise on TV and all the other places to get this, to control this? Because they know if I can get this ad in front of amazing, amazing people, they're going to want to buy it. And you get and show them the quality and the benefits of their product, guess what? They're going to buy it. And guess what happened? It does. Why? Because they got here. That's why advertising is so huge. It's a mindset thing. It's a mind thing. Just how they make a Coca-Cola like, you know, when you go to the movies, you don't even want no popcorn or no drink. When they show it on a big screen with the, with the noise, you know what I'm saying, with the popcorn popping up looking good on big on the screen, guess what? Your mouth saw a look in your lips and stuff. You're like, man, man I want some popcorn and a soda. Mind control. That's how the world works. That's why it's important to guard your mind. That's why it's important to, for you to make your own mind up. But anyway, this message for those today to let them know you do have the power. You know, you do have the power to change your mind, your reality, your life. I'm telling you. And I'm speaking from experience. I'm not just speaking from, you know, some I read or something like this. No. Speaking from my reality. Because in my life, you know, I was going through a whole lot of crazy stuff, doing stupid stuff. Then I got tired of it. I started freaking out. Like, Hold on, God. I know you did not bring me here to experience all this freaking bull crap right here. So when I questioned God, guess what? Because I thought he was at fault. I thought, oh, you did this? You did this? Man, why, why you bring me and do all the crap? But what he showed me was I was responsible. Because, one, I wasn't guarding my mind. I was, letting, I was doing what everybody else is doing. Thinking how I wanted, thinking what they want me to think. So after, it took, after I figured it out, after I stopped fighting with God, stopped really not believing it, because when they first told me, I ain't believe it. I'm like, man, whatever. Mm -mm. No, that ain't me. But when I took responsibility, I figured out and I found out, you know what? You're right. So when I changed my mindset, I began to see things happen. I began to see miracles happen. You know, I began to see like a, out of 30 days out of the month, before my mindset changed, I used to see a, a lot of bad stuff happen to me all the time. Out of 30 days out of the month. Out of 30 days, probably 25 days is messed up. But when I change my mindset, out of 30 days, I might have one challenging day. That's it. But it all, it's all because, too, I, I changed this. I had to change this. That's why I said, when you get tired of it, when you really want to change, when you really fed up, when you stop telling yourself those bull, that bullshit story, that you can't do this, I can't do this, guess what? You won't do it. And have you ever noticed too? When you tell yourself you can't do something, you don't do it. But when you tell yourself you can do it, you do it. Yeah. Like I told you, you have the power. I'm out here doing this cardio, as you can tell, walking around. But again, like I said, this is a message for y'all guys today. You know, just some encouraging words, you know. You have the power, you know. You, you control your life. No one has this power over you, but you. But if you give it to, if you give it to um, society, if you give it to another person, yeah, they're going to control it. Yeah. 
they, they, they will control your happiness. But guess what? It's the, at the end of the day, it's still your fault. Because you let it happen. You. You let it happen. You know? And that's one of the things I have learned, you know? You have to control your mind. You have to control your mind. And if you want to live a better life, if you want to change your life, that is a must. That is actually the first thing you have to work on. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, it, it continues every day. It's not a one-day thing. It's not a one-year thing. It's an ongoing life process. It continues to go on and on and on and on and on and on. It don't stop. I used to think, you know, you just do it this time and it change too. I, I was there in that same boat, too. But I figured it out. Now, this is something you got to do every day. Every day. It don't stop. Just like a job, like you, like you work every day. Same thing happens on your mind. So you got to work on your mind the same way every day. Same way you go to work every day. You got to work on your mind every day. You know, waking up in the morning time, you know, listening to some positive affirmations or reading a book about, you know, saying higher self-esteem or, or, you know, motivation videos, whatever the case may be. But it's very important that you feed your mind what you want. Wake up in the morning time, you listen to some negative or, you know, putting things in your mind or go to bed, putting things in your mind. That's another thing. Listen to some audio before you go to bed at nighttime. Some positive audio. Some positive affirmations. Some good stuff. And I promise you, you'll see a change in yourself. You'll see a change in yourself mentally. Because here's the thing. When the, mental, when the mental part changes, everything else starts to change. The physical, the emotional, and the spiritual. Once you change one, you start changing all of them, one by one, because you do have to take them one at a time. But the main thing is mindset. Mindset is the first thing you have to change. Anyway, it's Coach K signing off. Y'all have a super fantastic day. Peace.